freecoachingtoday.com तो सेकेंड प्रॉब्लम चैप्टर 11 ऑफ एस सी वर्मास ग्रेविटेशन वी हैव फोर पार्टिकल्स ऑन द फोर कॉर्नर्स ऑफ अ स्क्वायर सो वी मेक इट एन एक्स एक्सेस एंड वाई एक्सेस एंड प्लेस द फोर पार्टिकल्स ऑफ मासस एम टू एम थ्री एम एंड फोर एम ऑन इट्स फोर कॉर्नर्स and we need to find out the gravitational field on a particle of mass m placed at the center the square has a length of a the diagonal will have a length of a square root 2 and half of the diagonal this length is a by square root of 2 we need this length because we need to find the force between these two points this length is same for all four we call it the first particle the magnitude of the force due to this particle on m is f1 is given by g m1 m2 m into m m square divided by the distance square which is a square divided by 2 we just found the magnitude of this force but force is the vector quantity it has a direction so we will have to find out the direction of it when we combine this force with other force we cannot just find this force and just add them up we need to find their forces resolve it in x and y axis directions and all the and then add up all the x axis forces and all the y axis forces and then we can find the resultant of the forces acting in the x and y x y direction the force due to this second particle has a double the mass same distance so this force is going to be double this force f1 so f2 is 4 g m square divided by a square the same way f3 is thrice this force which is 6 times g m square divided by a square f4 is going to be 4 times the force that was acting between these two particles so it's 4 times this 2 8 g m square divided by a square now we need to resolve this force in x and y direction so the direction of the force on this particle due to this particle is a force of attraction so it's pulling this this force will act in this direction if we resolve it in x axis it's going to be in the negative x axis direction in the y also it's going to be in the negative y direction this is positive y direction and this is the negative y direction we call it fx and this fx this angle is 45 degrees this force x axis is going to be f1 cos theta or f1 multiplied by 1 by square root of 2 and then we will have a negative sign because it's in the negative x axis direction so it's 2 gm square divided by a square square root of 2 fy is also going to be the same it's sin theta but it's all sin theta is also 1 by square root of 2 and it's in negative y direction so it's going to be minus 2g m square divided by a square multiplied by sin theta which is square root of 2 we continue the same process for all three forces noting down their directions this force is going to be in this direction and let's call it f1x is f1y f2x is f2y f3x and f3y and f4x and f4y so all of them will have cos 45 and sin 45 multiplied to get a x and y direction so for example this is going to be 4g m square divided by a square multiplied by square root 2 we'll worry about plus and minus sign later on depending upon we'll just now leaving it for now but we have to revisit it find out their exact sign 
so 4 g m square divided by a square square root of 2 is 6 g m square divided by a square square root of 2 6 g m square divided by a square square root of 2 8 g m square divided by a square square root of 2 and 8 g m square divided by a square square root of 2 now let's worry about their signs this fourth the second one has x is all in the positive x axis direction so this is positive the y axis in the negative y direction so this is going to be negative now this four due to the third particle is in this direction and its x axis x is all component is in positive x direction so this is positive and the y is all direction is in the positive y direction so it's going to be plus this much now the last one this one is acting the fourth acts the fourth acts in this direction so the x-axis one is the negative x-axis direction and y-axis one is in the positive y direction so this is positive so we will now add the forces in the x-axis direction and the y-axis direction so in the fx one gm square a square square root of 2 is common on all of them only need to need add minus 2 plus 4 is plus 2 plus 2 and plus 6 plus 8 and minus 8 so fx is 0 and fy is the sum of these two gm square divided by a square square root of 2 and if we add this then we have 6 4 plus 2 minus 6 plus 6 we cancel out we have only left is 8 gm square divided by square root of 2 so the resultant is a force acting in the y-axis direction so we, when we write the answer we'll write that the net force f is the square root of fx square plus fy square and that's going to be 8 g m square divided by a square square root of 2 and its direction is in y-axis so in general if the problem may have x component and the well y component in that case you will have to find out the four not only the comp magnitude of the four but its direction which could potentially find the direction using tan theta equal to fy divided by fx in this case theta is 90 degree but in a particular problem it can also have throw some value